being here. Sadhvi Bhagwati Saraswati ji did her PhD and was raised in an American family in Hollywood, California and graduated from Stanford University. She was completing her PhD when she left America in 1996 to come and live permanently at Parmar Niketan Ashram in Rishikesh, India. She has been living there for the last 22 years and engaged in spiritual practice and dedicated service. She was officially initiated into the order of sannyas in the year 2000 by her guru, His Holiness, Swami Chidanan Saraswati Ji. Sadhvi Ji is a renowned speaker who gives keynote addresses at large forums on a wide variety of topics ranging from conscious business to science and spirituality to sustainable development to the key of happiness and peace in life to all aspects of yoga. We are fortunate to have her today and would like to request Chairman Mr. Sunil Raisoni to please welcome her on behalf of SGR Knowledge Foundation and Raisoni Group of Institutions. <laughs> With the concept of giving knowledge to each and everybody in society and sharing it, sharing the wisdom. And Chitnavis Center was there with us always. On behalf of Chitnavis Center, I request Ms. Yogita to please welcome Satvi Ji. KSR Summit Malika Bajaj, entrepreneur, global sportscaster, travel author and digital native. She is responsible for launching India's first 360 degree media solutions digital studio and lending a similar structure to Doha, Qatar, all under the age of 25. Today we have Malika Bajaj here and I request Mr. Sunil Raisoni to please welcome her on behalf of SGR Knowledge Foundation. with the Raisoni group. I'd like to thank Murnal for coordinating and organizing everything. And uh, in particular, I'd like to thank, of course, Sadhviji for accepting this invite and uh, not taking any time at all to actually coming to Nagpur the, the first time I called her. Um, I'm going to actually pass it on to her. But before I actually do, I'd like to share a little story about her because the first time I met Sadhviji uh, was at an event. Uh, actually, that was the second time. The first time I actually got to talk to her uh, in person was at an event. And um, she walked up to me and said, I need you to speak from your heart. I was giving a speech and we were on a similar panel like this. And up until then, I obviously had not uh, spoken without a pre-written script or a speech. And then she looked at me like she's looking at all of you right now which is where I felt the transformation happened because I did speak from my heart. That was the first time that she made me take that big risk. And um, things have been absolutely beautiful ever since. And so, really excited to pass it on to her. I'll let her finish uh, everything and we'll be happy to take questions after uh, Sadhviji is done. First of all, it's a wonderful joy to be here, and I deeply apologize for how late we are. As we were arriving, I said to Malika, my God, we're, we're reaching here at the time we were supposed to be finishing. So deep apologies for that. A journey that we thought was going to take us 40 minutes or so in the car ended up taking us an hour and a half and unfortunately she kept asking the driver and the driver kept saying so we were stuck but praying that we would simply be able to get here as quickly as possible to be here with you all. So I did want to apologize for that because my guru says three things are very important on a spiritual path. Thought management, tongue management, and time management. And so being on time is something that 
is usually, it's always something that we really try for. It's usually something that we are more successful at achieving. So accept our apologies for that out of our hands today. And, yes, sweetie. Oh, sure. So, she's asked that I can speak in Hindi, no problem. I will go back to the language in English, I will go back to the language in English, I will go back to the language in English, I will go back to the no problem. Because I have seen this, that unfortunately, the word in English, I will say that I will go back to the language in Hindi. So a lot of times it's just faster and more effective to say something in English. Like in Jahanta Kosakte, I will share in Hindi as well. When we speak about come home to yourself, jo title of nune daka kyunki it's the title of my new book, jo abhi bas parso Mumbai me. Honorable Governor Saab Ki Hatse with so many dignitaries and celebrities. My Guruji was there, Bollywood actors Anil Kapoor and Dia Murja and Vivek Oberoi and Kailash Kher and Madhab Sabi Thewa, Gard Ki Tarase. So, this is the title of Raka, that it's the title of my new book. But when we talk about come home to ourselves, is come matlab kya hai? Jab saathi saath hai hamesha, if we're moving through the world with ourselves, then what is there to come home to? The issue is the self we move through the world as is not the self that gives us the experience of being at home. And that's the core issue. Agar may aap sab logon se pooch lungi, ki who are you? Ye batao aap koon ho. To aap mujhe fir kya kene na denge? Kya batayenge mujhe? Naam denge, definitely. This is my name. Maybe you'll give me your career. A job, my business, my own. Is company ki malik hoon. Ya is company ki janitor hoon. Jo bhi hai. You'll give me your relationships. Unki patni hoon, unki patti hoon, unki ma, unki beita. Jo bhi hai. Maybe we'll give our age. I'm this age. I'm from this place. Maybe you give your religion. I'm Indian, I'm American, I'm Jobi. This is what we all identify as, ourself. Because remember, many of say, Pucho, who are you? I didn't say, what is your job? I didn't say, what are your relationships? I simply said, who are you? But the answer you give is all of these things. Now imagine you are driving down the road. Rasta pehi kain jare. Phone on there. And on the other side of on the other end of the phone, somebody says to you, Who are you? And you say, Acha, I'm exit 51. They would say, No, 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 I didn't say where are you? I said, Who are you? Many name pucha ki aap kahata ponche. Many pucha aap kon ho. And then you say, Acha, now I'm exit 52. Unko lage ga? Ya phone mein garbar hai? Ya dimar mein garbar hai? Because we understand that we are not the exit our car has reached. Just say, jab hum log abhi aare te, baad baad phone aare te, malika ke paas kya log? Kahai, kahai. She kept saying, okay, here we are, here, here we are, here, here we are, here. But if somebody asks who you are, and you tell them where you are, unko lagega ki tamar karab ho gaya, ya koi signal nahi hai. Because we understand that I am not 
where my car has reached. Lake. Yadi me aap se puchu, aap kaun ho? Aur aap mujhe aap ki age, aap ki culture, aap ki religion, aap ki job. Exit 51 is where your car has reached at this intersection of time and space. Your age, your job, your relationships, the color of your skin, your bank account, all of these things, that is exactly where the vehicle of your body has reached at this intersection of time and space. If you say to me, Acha aap kaun ho? And I say to you, Acha, I am 48 year old female American born sannyasi. That's only where my body has reached. 1971 American model body. Right? Gaade kaun si hai? Acha, I have 2006 model, 2010 model. Germany saying, Miri Gadi, 1971 model America. But that's not who I am. That's just where my car has reached at this moment. So when we say come home to yourself, it means who am I? Who is the self that isn't my body? Because this identification as the body, this identification as our roles, as our relationships, this is what creates suffering. So come home is to be free of that suffering. Ab socho ek minute ke liye, roj, kaam pe jate, stress. Aajkal jis se milte hai, how are you? Oh, bold stressed. It has become like a badge of honor. Bold stressed. Just say jitna stressed hoon, itne bade aadmi hoon. Ya bade lady hoon. Stressed has become our common way of describing ourselves. Kaise hai stressed? Oh, ha, bold acha, me too. So imagine. Day at the office, very stressed. Now you come home. End of the day, shampo, you come home. Coming home ki bitter ki anubhav kya hai? Ah, hai na? Ah, iska matlab ki mere jacket, mere tie, jo bhi me pehnero, mere jute, I can take it all off. Pajama, I can wear. T-shirt, I can wear. Take off a tight sari. Take off whatever it is I'm wearing that's making me feel constricted. Take off these tight shoes. Wash off my makeup. And then I feel, ah, guard out of Instead of having to sit in a certain way, aram se beto. Instead of having to eat a certain way, drink a certain way, aram se kao, aram se chai piyo. Because you know my guard pe aakya. Guard pe aane ka matlab, I can let go of the roles, let go of the drama. All day in the jobs, in the workplaces, even in the friend circle, in the society. Shadi mein jao, quick party mein jao. We have these dramas, social dramas, career dramas. We're all playing roles, we're saying lines. And we know it. We know the stories we play, we know the gossip. We know the lies that we tell. We consider them, but we know it's not true, it's a lie. We are playing drama. Coming home means we let go of the drama and we have that experience of ah, that's one level of coming home. 
I'm free from the external stress, external roles, external drama, external tight suit, tight tie, tight shoes, tight petticoat. Toby, like, there's another deeper level of coming home. Because in our physical homes, our physical families, drama behind. We know that stress behind. Both within our families, dramas within the families. Mujhe hamesha kyon mardna hai? Baaki log kyon kaam nahi karte hai? Sab kuch mujhe karna hai. We all have our own Gardaki dramas. More dramas, the bigger the family. This is the daily drama. Daily stress in the home. Better than the outside drama, outside stress, but just another layer of not self. Now imagine. Imagine that there were a deeper layer. Because we also, of course, in our families, in our physical homes, there's also the physical structure, just like I have my job that creates stress. Same way, house, roof is leaking, termites are there, this is there, this is broken, that is broken, that other external stress. Now imagine there was a level of coming home to yourself that was deeper, deeper than your physical house, deeper than being able to just Put your feet up and have a cup of chai. Deeper than just being with your family members. A level of coming home to yourself that gave you the experience of ah, but not in the physical body, but actually in the heart and soul. A way of coming home to the truth of who you are. Bina drama. Bina identities. Bina stories. Bina stress. That, that is what this book is about. And that is what tonight is about. Because that was the experience jo mujko ganga ki krapase. Mera guru ki krapase, jo mujhko mila. Because I had come from a world where I had everything. Bahar ki everything was set. Lekin as Pooja Swami ji hamesha kehte hai ki sab kuch set, lekin bitter is upset. Now I didn't even know. I was not even moving through the world at that time with a sense of upset. But I didn't know the truth of who I was. Ganga Kanare Aye, Ganga Ji Ki Darshan Hui. And the transformation that I was given was a transformation of knowing myself. And it's a place that enables you to be anchored and grounded. We are here in the center of India. And I'm Nagpur is the center of India, right? Jame Gadi Me Ari, the airport side. This is the center, center of India. So we are the center of India. But are we centered? Kud centered hai kani hai? Lo pura desh se aate hai center dekne ke liye. Or hum jo yaha rehte hai kud centered nahi hai. Ye dorbaag hai. We need to find that center in ourself. She told me we call it zero maya. Zero maya. Okay. Whatever you call it, no problem. But it should not be zero me. Me so chitti ki zero maya tik. But most of us live our lives as zero me. I identify only based on all of these external roles and stories. How much 
I'm making? What is my title? What is my job? How this one is responding to me? Who touches my feet? Who calls me sab? Who this? Who that? How big my house is? How big my car is? How expensive my clothes are compared to Samne Wale's clothes. This is how most of us identify. And that is a zero for us. Because at the end of the day, honestly, we know. We know, even if a hundred people in the Shadi said, Rabbi, Balbari, Koop sorted, amazing. Yadi bitter me. Such much shanti nahi. Such much masti nahi. Jeevan kiras agar nahi hote. It doesn't matter how beautiful our clothes are. It doesn't matter how fancy our house is. That's not what brings us grounding and anchoring and joy in life. Only when we actually come home to the self. So I want to give you one way of thinking it and then we will go into questions. May Sochrihiti Ya Adeoeki home come matlab kyai. When we say home, because they say you know home is where the heart is, right? It's a beautiful saying, home is where the heart is. Home is not just four walls, we know that. Home is where the heart is. The home is where the self is. So if we come home to ourself, what does that mean? The me sochriti ki chalo home ko lege, shabd ko lege. Etch. It means honesty. These are the four things you need to come home to yourself. Number one, Etch is for honesty. To the extent that we keep telling ourselves lies about who we are. Oh, I'm very rich. I am a big person. I am worthy. I am valuable. Why? Because I am a wealthy person. I'm a powerful person. Look at all these people, they bow to me, they look up to me. Many yesab kare kare diya. Sab lo unko jobs many diya. I am the one responsible. They go kitni lo unko opportunity many diya. Mere vajah se wo sab ji rahe. This is not honest. There's a beautiful story of a king. He was a good king. One day, a holy man comes to the kingdom. And the king is walking the holy man through the kingdom. houses banaya, homeless logon ke liye, many schools banaya, pechon ke liye, hospitals banaya, sick logon ke liye. And he was showing the holy man ki many kya kya banaya sab logon ke liye. So the holy man just keeps nodding his head. They come to a river, and the holy man bends down and he picks up a rock. And he says to the king, Apne aami ko bodo is rock ko toro. So the king is like, break the rock? Why should we break a rock? Lekin jab koi guru ji kuch adesh deite hai. So you follow it. You don't ask why, you just say, ji. So he tells his man, he break this rock. So the soldier breaks the rock and inside the rock is this beautiful, nutrient-rich pool of water. Rusvayak Chotisi frog is in the water, living happily. So the holy man holds it to the king and he says, Kya apne frog ke liye ye banaya kya? So the king understood. We think we think we are the doers. We think we are the ones making everything. But we don't realize there is a, a divine doer. So honesty. Honesty is honest about who I am. If 
I say to you, I am a 48-year-old female from America, sannyasi, that is not honest. If I say to you, this is my job, or you tell me, this is my job, these are my relationships, this is my title. It's honest if I ask you, what is your job? But it is not honest if I ask you who you are. Because that is not who you are. Because you were saying I long before you were the CEO of a company. You were saying I long before a business kare kare. You were saying I long before you were someone's wife or husband or mother or father. I was saying I long before I was a 48 year old sannyasi. Who's the I? Who's the I that we've been saying our whole lives? Body keeps changing. Roles keep changing. Drama keeps changing. But we keep saying I. Or I, Connie. Spirit. Soul. Consciousness. Truth. Koi bhi shabchunla. We can call it soul, atma ko, consciousness ko, truth ko, infinite ko, porn. We say aham brahmasmi, soham. So many ways of saying it. Doesn't matter which word you use. But that's the truth of who you are. So number one, etches for honesty. Which means that we never should hear our own voices in our head saying things like, you are stupid, you are worthless, you are this, you are that, you're too young, you're too old, you're too stupid, you're too this, you're too that. Because all of that is rooted in dishonesty. All of that says you are what you do. No. You are not what you do. Who you are is infinite. That which happens through you is part of your karmic package. It's part of your end of dharma at different times of life. Cello, now I'm a student, now I'm a householder, now I'm in Von Prost phase of life, now I'm in Sanyas phase of life. To my mother, I'm a son. To my son, I'm a father. To the wife, I'm a husband. Tika, these are alagalag roles and relationships. Alagalag duties, alagalag dharma. It's not who you are. Who you are is beyond the roles, beyond the drama. Who you are is what you experience. When you close your eyes and you drop into the truth of who you are. And we'll do this last, we'll end with a meditation. That's who you are. So honesty is to remember. In my job, in my role, I may have committed a mistake, but I'm not a mistake. In my job, in my role, I may be paid a lot of money. I am not rich or poor. I am not a CEO or a peon. I am soul, I am spirit, I am consciousness, I am love, I am truth, I am infinite. So that's honesty. O is openness. Because as long as we are closed, we will never be able to come home. And that closedness is how we protect ourselves. We keep ourselves in these roles. We're not open. We don't open our hearts. We don't open our hearts to each other. Really. It's so, so sad. Even in families. Even in our friend circle, kya kya natak, 
क्या क्या स्टोरीज आई कैन टेल यू हाउ मेनी टाइम्स ओवर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर्स इन इंडिया आई हैव बीन इन सिचुएशन वे यू इन अ कम्युनिटी यू गेट टू द होम ऑफ द पीपल जिनके गर्ड में आप तैर रहे हैं big mansion mercedes in the driveway whole community thinks wow gosh i could be like them what happy people beautiful people beautiful marriage chote chote itni sundar se bache everybody leaves door closes and the tears start rone lagte sab and you see ki क्या आप किसी से बात नहीं कर सकते इसके बारे में ऑल दीज फ्रेंड्स यू हैव बिकॉज वेन वी आर इन पेन यू नीड टू कनेक्ट यू नीड समन हु सीज यू हु अंडरस्टैंड हु कैन बी देर हु वॉन्ट जज एंड नई वैसे नई 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 लोग क्या सोचेंगे उसी लोग क्या सोचेंगे कि चक्कर में our hearts are closed and our lives are closed and we never allow ourselves to know who we are because we are so busy pretending to be someone we are not and you can never actually come home when you're telling a lie the core core non negotiable criterion is we have to be honest and we have to be open now is ka matlab nahi hai ki i walk into the marketplace and i tell everybody ki acha mera ghar mein aaj subah ye ladai hui is ka matlab nahi hai but is ka matlab ki that i am open with myself about who i am that i don't sweep things under the carpet If I'm in pain, if something is going on, or kisi ki phone aate hain, I don't say, "Ha, bilo ko baal the day." Baal bade. We do that because we think ki people will think less of me. Meri ijjat katam ho jayega. And this is the dilemma. so i can be open and since i can be open i close myself and when i am closed i become suffocated agar aap kaam ke baad guard aa gaya raat ko to come home lekin darwaza band hai khala se and you have to sleep out in your front lawn kya shanti ki anubhav milega ki nahi milega jo guard aane ka guard to aa gaya front porch tak aa gaya Lakin will you have that beautiful divine experience of ah no because you know ki the vajra bande mujhe andar jana tabhi aaram milega same way in our hearts if our hearts are closed if our lives are closed we will never have that experience so begin somewhere first be open to yourself come say come sway me say bhagwan say come say come at least be open but open and honest does not mean i'm pointing a finger at somebody else open and honest does not mean unki wajah se i am miserable because that is also not honest kisi ki wajah se i am never miserable keval meri wajah se Nobody can make you miserable. Nobody can make you angry that is not honest. Log jo kar rahe karne do. But if I am miserable, it is because I have made a decision to be miserable. Because I have decided that my attachment to samne wale is doing what, saying what. is more important than my mental peace so if i decide that i don't like what malika is saying it would never happen but just for an example i can use her as a, as an example she says something and i think ki mujhe acha acha nahi lagta hai i need to change her but she won't change 
मैं बार बार कोशिश करता हूँ इसी तरह से मेरे से बात मत करो ऐसे बहेव मत करो मेरे से मेरे को रिस्पेक्ट दो मेरे को प्यार दो ये ठीक नहीं है ऐसे मत करो ना इसका मतलब क्या है आई हैव डिसाइडेड दैट हर एक्शंस आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन माय मेंटल पीस आई हैव वॉलेंटरीली कॉन्शियसली नोइंगली टेकन माय पीस टेकन माय शांति टेकन माय ग्राउंडिंग माय एंकरिंग एंड आई हैव थ्रोन इट अवे कि जब मालिक का मेरे जैसे जैसे मैं चाहती हूं जब मैं चाहती हूं जिस तरह से मैं चाहती हूं बोलने लगेगी वेन आई वो बी हैप्पी एंड नॉट चो है ये तो मेरे वॉलेंटरली मिजरेबल हो गया इफ आई से कि यू हैव स्टोल एन माई पीस नो You have just done something. You have acted in a certain way. You have behaved in a certain way. You have said something. If I have chosen to take my peace and throw it in the garbage because of how you acted, that was my decision. So, being open. When I say be open, it means be really open. Open of the heart. not open a list of grudges open of the heart and when we really open the heart that's when grace flows into our heart that's when we are touched by the presence of the divine so being open doesn't mean hey bhagwan uske baare mein jara kuch kar do iske baare mein kuch kar do usko jara samjhao kisi tarah se usko hathao kisi tarah se It's not being open. Open is hey, Mama. Come into my heart. Come into my life. I'm ready for you. I am prepared to let go of my attachments, of my drama, of my expectation. Because when I'm full of those, there's no room for grace. Grace is there. Grace is always flowing. But when I'm full. There's no room, and so openness means I open my heart to the truth of you, to the truth of who I am, so that I can experience grace. M comes love meditation, because without meditation, none of this is possible. Because without meditation, our minds are jumping around like monkeys. And we cannot think, so we try to come home. We try to come home on the inside, but the mind is constantly in the past. What happened in the past? How we are upset? Chahi panch minute pehle, chahi pandra saal pehle. Usne kaise kiya? Kya samasya pa apni aap ko? What do they think of themselves? How do they understand me? How could they do that? They ruined my life. Or in the future, I chose to be able to make it. If I fail, then what will happen? Shall I be able to make it? Will 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 I be able to make it? इज्जत तो बिल्कुल खत्म हो जाएगा पूरी की पूरी सो द माइंड इज लाइक दिस नेवर इन द प्रेजेंट नेवर इन द ट्रूथ ऑलवेज इन आवर स्टोरीज ऑलवेज इन आवर ड्रामास सो दिस इज व्हाई मेडिटेशन इज एसेंशियल बिकॉज़ इट्स द ओनली वे टू एक्चुअली हैव द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ हु वी आर एंड लास्टली ई एच ओ एम ई E stands for empty. Empty yourself of who you think you are, so that you can actually experience who you really are. There's a beautiful story. A God made a bold sadhana ki, the pasya ki. 
उनको लगा कि नाउ आई एम रेडी फॉर एनलाइटनमेंट और उसके लिए गुरु चाहिए तो सबसे पूछा कि अच्छा मुझे एक गुरु चाहिए सबसे दिव्य गुरु सबसे पावरफुल गुरु मुझे चाहिए जो मुझको एनलाइटनमेंट दे सकते हैं सो एवरीबडी सेंड इन टू दिस वन गुरु ऑन द टॉप ऑफ अ माउंटेन सो ही वॉक्स थ्रू द रिवर एंड ही क्लाइम्स द माउंटेन एंड ही गेट्स देयर गुरु जी को प्रणाम किया एंड ही सेज कि महाराज जी मैंने ये साधना की ये किया ये किया ये अनुभव हुआ आई हैव दिस एक्सपीरियंस गेन दिस नॉलेज ज्ञान आ गया एंड दीज आर माय चैलेंजेस ये ज्ञान मुझको प्राप्त नहीं कर पा रहे दिस अनुभव आई एम वांटिंग टू हैव लाइक एन होन एड है दीज आर ऑल माय चैलेंजेस एंड दिस इज व्हाट आई नीड आपसे मुझे यही चाहिए तो गुरु जी बोले चलो चाय पीते हम लोग तो द मैन सेज चाय मेरे पास कोई समय नहीं है चाय के लिए आई नीड इन लाइट एंड मिड नाउ आई बिन वेटिंग माई होल लाइफ चाय पीने की समय नहीं है पर अगैन जब गुरु जी कहते हैं तो क्या करें तो बोले चलो ठीक है चाय पीते हैं सो द गुरु गोज इन द बैक ऑफ द केव makes the chai comes back tea pot he puts the two cups and he starts to pour and he's pouring and he's pouring and the cup is filling and filling did it did it did it is pouring now the cup is totally full or sare chai upar se gir raha hai all over the floor to aadmi bole hai ruko cup to is full what are you doing up kar kya rahe sare chai gir raha hai It's all over the floor. It's spilling. So Guruji bole, your mind is like this cup. You are so full already of what you think you know, who you think you are, what you think you need. Ki there is no place, there is no room for me to give you anything. Cheek. जिस तरह से मैं आपको और चाय नहीं पिला पाऊंगी नहीं पिला पाऊंगा जब तक आप इसी चाय को खत्म नहीं करोगे अंटिल यू फिनिश दैट टी आई कैन नॉट गिव यू मोर टी पहले चाय पियो देन आई कैन गिव यू मोर सेम वे पहले अपने मन को खाली करो कप को खाली करो मैं और चाय दूंगा मन को खाली करो फिर मैं क्या दे सकूंगा अब जगह नहीं है सो वी मस्ट अलाउ आर सेल्व टू बी एम टी एम टी ऑफ ऑल द स्टोरीज दैट वी थिंक आर ट्रू एम टी ऑफ ऑल ऑफ बट वी टेल आर सेल्व एम टी ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस ड्रामा वी हैव अ बॉडी वी हैव अ रोल वी हैव ड्यूटीज वी हैव डार्म in bhagwan's leela we all have our own roles to play but it's not who we are like an actor an actor plays a role kabhi villain kabhi hero kabhi pita kabhi pati but he understands i am not the villain i am the actor i've never once heard a story that some actor playing the part of a villain forgets that it was only a role guard ja ke apni puri part of art ko maar dega kabhi nahi hoti ek bar bhi nahi because they remember i'm only the actor villain is my part it's my role it's not who i am same way we play our roles to the best of our ability play them sincerely but at the end of the day punch me le lo das me le lo end of the day take off your costume take off your mask take off your makeup and allow yourself to actually have the experience of who you really are come home 
to yourself. That's what life is for. That's why we're here. And that's the gift that we all have. So, with that, I'm happy to open it up to questions. I know Malika has some questions first. And then whatever questions anyone here has. And whatever questions we don't have time for, because I know we're running late, as I said, we. We started after the time we were, we were supposed to finish. So I realized he said maybe he'll come in. The book of Come Home to Yourself that they've taken the title from, the book is a book of questions. Roj Ganga Kanare, Ganga Ji Ki Aarti Ke Baad. We have satsang. And I've been very, very blessed to be able to lead the satsang in the evening. And I always say, Ki the answers do not come from me. They come through me. The answers are not due to anything I ever learned at Stanford or in any university or in any school. They're answers that come through me. Like this microphone cannot take credit for what I'm saying. Agar lecture at end of the lecture, the microphone cannot take a bow and say, Chalo, medali atali ambajau. If the lecture is bad, end of the day, the microphone will not go home and say, oh, 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 oh kya gar, where do we? The microphone understands I'm just a microphone. Koi mere se bol rahe, somebody is speaking through me. In the same way, that satsang is answers that are coming through me. Like the mic is a tool in my hands, I have been very blessed to be a tool in the hands of the Divine. And I mention this because as we run out of time here, the book is questions and answers from those satsang. And questions that everybody asks about how do we find peace in life and how do we find joy and how do we balance a spiritual life and a life in business or a life in family and how do we control our emotions, how do we control our mind, how do we get along in our workplace, how do we get along in the family. So those questions are all there and we have a lot of books and so hopefully everyone will be able to take a book Acha there on there he can it's go cool. yeah he can put them on the table and afterwards everyone can take a book so I mentioned that in advance just so that you don't feel badly agard upki question kiri we don't have time by God's grace maybe the answer will already be there in the book. So I now, for however much time we have, you'll let us know when we run out of time. I turn it over to Malika for our questions and answers.